Today I've got an initial hands-on and preview of what might be some of the coolest headphones I have tried to date, but I'm not exactly sure if I can necessarily recommend them. Today we're taking a look at the Padmate Pamu Unique. Uh, Pamu is a company that you guys have probably seen a lot of marketing about online. It started on Kickstarter and this is their newest model. Now, these things have a lot of features to really like. Uh, first of all, they are APTX because they utilize the Qualcomm 3020 chipset. They offer 10 hours of battery life with the headphone uh, and with the case, we're looking at an extra approximately uh, 20 hours or so, 25 hours or so with this, depending upon the volume that you listen to them. The case has four indicator lights, which is really, really nice. It charges via USB type C, which is also really nice. Uh, each of these headphones has a dual bottom firing uh, or dual bottom receiving microphone along with CVC 8.0 so that you can use these to take phone calls with pretty good clarity. And in regards to the actual just shape and design of these earbuds, to me, these might be the perfect implementation of a truly wireless headphone. Similar in size to the Apple AirPods, Apple AirPods Pro, the stem is small enough and angled down far enough to give you better microphone reception. You can still move them, take them out of your ear without activating the touch control, which is a really, really nice thing. When you combine that with the fact that you can control everything from these headphones and the touch controls are extremely responsive, I find myself kind of referring to these as maybe one of the best user experiences I've had in regards to just overall usability of user headphones, controls, design, layout, size, implementation. Everything about them is really, really ergonomic. Uh, I have to say that the, like the boxing and presentation is super premium. And when you order them, you get these uh, leatherette, or I'm not sure if they're actual leather or not, magnetic, um, lids and they essentially stay on with magnets. It's held on really, really nice and tight. And compared to a more conventional case, I kind of prefer this. Now I've never had issues with my QCYT1Cs and their type of open case, but I have had issues with cases breaking. And the idea that this is a non-breakable cover means that it's something I don't necessarily have to worry about. That being said, the case is on the larger side. There's no way to get around this. And I have to say that I am not exactly sure why the case is so big other than to accommodate the size of these headphones because it doesn't have that huge amount of battery power. Uh, if you want to utilize Qi wireless charging with these, they make an adapter that goes with this that goes at the end of the case and you just put them down, which I could see being useful for like an office environment. And just kind of the presentation of these overall uh, seems very, I don't wanna say luxurious, but very just kind of professional and adult, if, if that makes any sense. Uh, just from the materials to the presentation to the fact that it's not a glossy touch plastic on anywhere. So like use these all you want and you don't have fingerprints, which I, I mean, everything about this I really like. The part that I don't necessarily like is the sound. Um, just from my initial impressions, the sound average, like the sound Halo GT1, uh, like ask Halo GT1, Huawei T19 in regards of sound quality, which is, acceptable, but at the price point for these headphones, I I kind of think I want more in regards to sound quality. The good thing about these headphones is that you can get these headphones in a much cheaper configuration uh, with like the Pamu Slide Mini, and those are like 50 bucks. Um, I think if you could find this headphone at under 55 bucks. It's a, a much better bargain as a complete package. I, I have to say it's really, really difficult for me to review something like this because so many aspects of this pair of headphones are perfect. And it's, in my opinion, one of the best implementations I've ever experienced from the, the actual design of the earbud, the ergonomic shape, which 
honestly fits into my ear quite flush. Um, there's no, like, it, it doesn't feel like it's gonna fall out at any point. The silicone uh, surrounds for the outside of the earbud really do a good job of like keeping it up. The other thing is that these headphones have a vent at the top, so I never feel, I never have that, like, I have a headphone pushed in my ear and I've got this limited amount of air trapped. And there's so much that I love about these. Um, so I think if, if you're looking for a pair of headphones for maybe the non-audiophile and the person is thinking about AirPods, uh, I think that these are gonna sound better than AirPods. The user experience for them is gonna be really, really good. And overall, it's like an, kind of an easy recommendation for like the average person that maybe doesn't wanna go buy something like the KZ Acoustics or, you know, so something like that. Um, that's gonna wrap this up for this like initial impressions on them. I need to use them more, I need to listen to them more, see if there's any some burn in time. You know, and if I can go ahead and tweak an EQ to get slightly better sound out of it, um, then, you know, it might be an easier recommendation for me. Other than that, I think that this has a very specific buyer and I think that for that buyer, they'd be really, really happy with the ergonomics and user experience of this product because that is perfect to in, up to this point. Um, okay, till next time, it's Mitchell coming to you guys from Hanoi. Peace.